Hey, what is up, guys? It is Roxas here, and welcome back to another Majora's Mask episode. Last time, we went to collect the gr well, the stray fairies, and increase our magic meter through the Great Fairy. This time, we're gonna be going back to Snowhead because we need to take care of the boss once again. Because what we're going for today is the sword upgrade. Also known as the Gilded Sword. An easily missable, uh... I guess, like, side quest upgrade. It'll really help out. It's not as strong as, like, the, the strongest sword in the game, but at the same time, it's like, well, the, the best thing we'll get until we can get to that sword. Now, what's the... Okay, never mind, found it. Wait, no, I need to be Goron for this. Being Goron drums. I forgot about that. I mean, I need the Goron mask anyway. But the side quest. There we go, yeah. So, the side quest for this uh, sword upgrade first, you need to actually beat the boss and basically like melt all the ice and snowhead then we go and take care of uh getting uh what's what's the word we basically get the man i cannot think of words right now Whoa, that was, that was close. Anyway, so basically we go here, we melt all the ice, we get the... I'm forgetting the name of the actual item. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Punch this. The powder keg. We, we need the uh, verification from the actual... Uh, the Goron creator for it. So we gotta start that, but you'll see what I mean as soon as we get to the actual uh, Goron village. Now, this uh, this episode might be a little fast, might be a little shorter compared to the last ones, but that's because of the fact that uh, it's just the side quest episode, or I, what I would say is a necessary upgrade. So, let's go ahead and hit our rematch. Ah, uh, yes. Hello again, Go. And so, now that we have the Goron, like, well, the increased magic meter. We can keep going for a much longer time. Got 11 dirt. Okay, well, we're gonna have one of these then. Gonna be the same as last time, huh? Hello? We're gonna be here for like five minutes. He's gonna turn around, isn't he? Surprisingly not. So anyway, as a kid, I really loved this uh, fight. I think I said it before, like last time in the actual initial fight. Short. I could have avoided that. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, no, I, this fight, I, I always went back to it because it was easy. I loved rolling around. It was, uh, it was really cool. Except when I get hit like that. So anyway, here's a story time. Uh, everybody usually loves either Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. I am of the Ocarina, or not the Ocarina of Time, the Majora's Mask opinion. I personally love it more than uh, Ocarina of Time for the main reason of my dad. He was the one who actually like had it as a grown up. And he literally like 100%ed the 
the game. All masks, everything. That is what I was trying to do last time, and I actually managed to get it this time. So, we've done a lot of damage. But anyway, so, my dad was the one that had Majora's Mask, and he basically 100%ed it. So, I was able to just mess around, do what I wanted. And it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So, that's honestly just, like, why I loved Majora's Mask. Well, I still love it now. And we even still have, like, the, the cartridge and everything. Along with our N64. Oh, I was about to say this attempt is going way better than last time, and then I get hit. Okay. So what you're supposed to do to get the Gilded Sword upgrade, right, is you have to fight this. You gotta get the Powder Keg. Now, please just die. Whoa. There we go. So you beat them, you reset uh, the snow fields, you go get the powder keg. You open the raceway for the Goron, the Goron raceway. Then you go race in the Goron raceway. Uh, this way. I think I'm literally on the other side of it. Lost. There it is. I was literally on the other side of the actual uh, map for it. But so we did this. We're good. We gotta go with the powder keg. Open the racetrack. The rubber band. Okay, in the actual racetrack, we have to race as a Goron. But the rubber banding of the NPCs is worse than in Mario Kart. Well, I'm not exactly sure which Mario Kart I'm talking about. But there's, there's a certain Mario Kart version. But. that oh that's the secret way up there that's right I think now first and foremost uh this way uh well I guess we won't know no the Goron village is this way Warm out, I'm much better. Even if my daddy isn't right beside me, I won't cry, or I'll be selfish and cry. So, now that the spring has come, the Gorn race is starting soon. But, but this rock is in the way, so I can't get in to see the race. The spring just started too. I was like, so excited, but there's nothing I can do. Basically, we have to get rid of this rock, but can't do anything with it interesting point on the rock but so what we do like I said is we got to go back to the Goron village the ice that was blocking the actual uh, actually we're, we're gonna do this probably faster if I use the bunny hood as per usual oh yeah that hole's opened up too but anyway so we go here there's now a massive change in the Goron Village. We can jump down here and it will always be open now. But what we're looking for is on the other side, right there, that hole. If we read the sign, you'll see that it says, Goron Powder Keg Shop. New customers will be tested on proper use. So we turn to a Goron here. Hey, buddy. I'm the Goron. Who sells the powder keg? Most famous product of the Gorons. Our powder keg? Powder kegs will explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. Until I have tested to see if you can use them. You can't let you use any on your own. 
If you can destroy that boulder that blocks the entrance of the Goron racetrack near here, using the powder keg I'm going to give you, then I'll approve you to carry them. When the powder keg begins sticking faster, it means that it's about to explode. Try to blow up the grate and the boulder blocking the Goron racetrack entrance without the powder keg exploding on the way. There's a sign near the racetrack, so keep an eye out for it. When you finish, come see me. So, I don't want to talk to you. I want to pick this up. There we go. Right. If we actually, like... You guys throw this up there. If we actually, like, punch it or hit it with an arrow, it will explode. But this is a version of the powder keg that we literally have to take over there. Alley-oop. Oh, and we have to stay in Goron form the entire time. I have a feeling... Okay, no, it, it still stays up. So we have to avoid all those, like, monsters that we, we saw on the way here. Like the wolf and such. Go around the longish way. So yeah, the the time limit, as you can see here, is on the actual line, which honestly isn't that bad. We can get there pretty easily. Except you know, you got the wolves here, which do get in the way. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I already forgot the voice they gave the little kid, Boron. Throw. Up we go. Throw. And up we go. Throw. And up we go. Grab it. Yeah, every time you, you see that, you, you just want to break it. We can, and now we just literally wait. I could blow it up with the arrow, but I want to wait. But as you can see here, Way to go, Darmani. That was cool. Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start. Come on, hurry. And the way he fucking runs is so awkward. But anyway, with that broken and open, we now have the Goron racetrack. There's a certain secret about this racetrack, which I will get back to you on in a second because I forget how bad the rubber banding is. So, I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. So, the thing about the Goron race is that it really rubber bands, like, fast. And there's a, a bit of, that you can do. Yeah, yeah, we, we get it. So, what you do, if I remember correctly, uh, I could be doing this wrong. This is the first time I'm going to attempt this. Oh, I, I messed up. Basically, you're supposed to do a circle right there, and it would, like, basically instantly give you this. The, the spikes to basically take off. But having the extended magic meter is really good here. Oh, these... These racers play dirty, kind of like I do in Mario Kart. But yeah, basically that's how people would normally uh, go about starting the race. Or at least speedrunners. Whoa, I almost ran into the flower and he literally ran me into the wall. Okay, he stole that. Whoa! He just tried to kamikaze himself to pushing me off the... Oh, that was crazy. Alright, we're, we're getting to the end here. I hope that the rubber banding doesn't kick in for them right now. Oh, thank god, I actually won. Okay. 
was great. I knew you were the fastest score, Darmani. I was sure you'd get first place. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. Just like that, we got the bottle of gold dust. The finest quality available. But the second bottle that we get. So now we have two bottles. But what do we do with the gold dust? Well, what we do is we head back. Well, first we're going to have to... But what we do is we head back to uh, over here. But what we also have to do is we got to go get money. So, that's for how much money? I don't know, the 200? We're just going to go ahead and just get that from the, the bank. Because we have the money for the bank, you know, in the bank. So, back to Clock Town. Alright, we're back in Clock Town. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I thought that I wouldn't have gotten it on the first attempt. I thought I was gonna have, like, two attempts on the Goron race before I actually, uh, got it. Now. Hi, I need to take out $200. Wait, how much? I, I I forget how much I. One ninety four. Wait, one ninety three. All I have is fifteen rupees. All right. This is for a good cause, guys. Trust me. And now we go and do the actual uh, sword upgrade. We go to the mountain village. All right. We go into the shop. Hey, old man over here reads his lines perfectly. Oh, a customer. Go pour a fetch your customer some coffee, quick like. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Right, to reforge your sword, it will cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. You'll have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Keep in mind that after you use your reforged swords 100 times, it will lose its edge and go back to its original sharpness. So, would you like your sword reforged for 100 rupees? Yeah, sure, here you go. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm off. I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Bro is a fucking pro. I want to aspire to be like him reading his lines. So, anyway. Wait. Wait. There we go. What we have to do is we have to speed up time to the next morning to get our sword back. So, we play the song a double time. Which, this and. I'm pretty sure I said this before in a previous episode. The song of double time and the inverted song of time were two secret songs found on the actual game uh, box back in the day. So anyway, uh, yeah, here's how this goes. I forget half the people's voices the following episode because I record this like weeks in between, I guess. Anyway, we go here. Hello. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? Your Kokiri sword has been strengthened and forged into a razor sword. This newer, sharper blade is a cut above the rest, using it up to 100 times without dulling its superior edge. Now, keep in mind that after you use this 100 times, the blade will lose its, its edge and return to its original sharpness. Now, here's a secret. If you bring me gold dust before the sword loses its edge, I'll be able to make, the, or make it the strongest sword around. You got that? Gold dust! Yeah, hi, um, 
about that. I kind of already went and did that. Try right, you gotta talk to him. Oh, a customer. Oh yeah, uh... Take away your sword. Hmm. Hey, now that's a mean joke. Your, your sword has already been forged into a razor sword. Unless... Do you want me to make your sword stronger? To do that, I need gold dust. Do you have any? Yeah, here you go. Why, if it isn't gold dust, and it's even top quality! Why, even if I use it to reforge your sword, there'll still be some left. Alright, just for you, I'll do it for free, but don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight up to work. Come back tomorrow morning. So, now you guys see why I needed to restart the the time and go back to the first day to get everything done. It's because it takes us until the third day to reforge and actually strengthen the sword. Okay, night of the second day. Alright, dawn of the final day. Four hours remain. Oh, wait, I forgot to go back to the Goron. We'll do that after this. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? And here it is the Gilded Sword. Your Razor Sword has been strengthened. Now it is a Gilded Sword. The Gilded Sword is a really cool sword. I love its design. I loved it as a kid. Uh, for some reason, I kind of thought it was like a candy cane back when I was a kid too. But, just look at the icon. Newly forged, your sword is better than ever and it will never break. There it is. We can't make a sword stronger than that. No matter how many times you use it, it will never lose its edge. Try it! Oh, and I used up most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit was left, so I got rid of it for you. Yep, and just like that, look at that. The sword is longer and stronger. Pause. So, the thing about it is, now if I use... That's as strong as the level 2 spin from the original Kokiri sword. Now look at the level 2 for this. Extremely wide. But, anyway, now we have to go back to report the, the winnings to the Goron. Because, uh, if we don't, then we won't be able to use the powder keg out, you know. We, we need a powder keg in order to get, uh, to the next part of the, the, the world. But, anyway, so. This, uh, oh yeah, it's over there. This episode really was just mainly about getting the Gilded Sword. Next episode's a, kind of another filler episode. It might be shorter than this one, but it gets another essential part that we need for the quest. Hello, Mr. Goron. It looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I feel fun letting you handle powder kegs on your own. It was bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test. I want you to take this my apology. We got a powder keg! Powder kegs are very volatile, so you can only carry one at a time. If you shoot them with an arrow, they'll explode as soon as they're hit, so be careful. So yeah. Now, we have our own powder keg that we can carry, but we can't really, well, there's no real use for it right now, because the main, well, it does a lot of damage, but like the main thing that we need it for, you'll see next time. Because this is the end of the episode. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just deposit our money first. I love the the 
the changes in the, the the music as you get closer and closer to the final day. Hi, buddy. I'm gonna deposit. All right, so. 99. Yep, that is a lot. All right. So that allows us to now... Oh, actually, let me show you guys something. So, we can only carry one powder keg at a time, but we can always buy them here in Clocktown itself, as you can see through here. There's a Goron right here that sells powder kegs. Oh, did you come to buy a powder keg? This is just between us, but I have a huge bomb that this shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. Sorry, I even brought it up. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta be a Goron to speak to him, and he'll sell you the powder kegs. Now that we're able to carry our own, and pass the, the initial test. So, tell you. Gotta do is. Oh. There we go. It's not the Invert Sonic time. I'm like. I, I, sometimes I get those mixed up. What we're gonna do is. We're not gonna use that. Well. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll. Anyway. That is gonna do for this episode. Like I said. We have a powder keg, and the main use will be seen next time. Uh, yeah. This this episode was literally just, hey, gilded sword, powder keg. Next this pro next episode is going to be probably a little uh, shorter than this. It's mainly just getting a main part to continue the journey, and then doing a sub, like, side quest that is also there. So, you'll see what I mean next time. I'll see you guys next week. You take it easy. Bye-bye.